Hey guys, Soli here, back on Soli Gaming with another Loot Crate unboxing here on Soli Gaming. Guys, this is the Loot Crate for October 2016, um, the horror theme box, um, as you can tell by the background. Where is it? Right there. Um, so yeah, we're going to get right into this. This is supposed to have items from a bunch of horror movie films from Friday the 13th, Freddy, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, um, and I believe Halloween? Or no, yeah, Halloween, and um, I believe there's some Walking Dead item in there, because today, of course, is the season premiere of The Walking Dead. It, um, so, let's get into this, and guys, there's one thing I did notice. i got to cover this up real quick. On the back of this, there is, like, a mask. I don't know if you can barely see it in the camera. There's, like, a mask or something back there. So, we'll find out what that is, but here we go. The horror theme for Loot Crate, October 2016. All right, so let's get this bad boy open. And, of course, what better way to get your box paid for than a promotion for The Walking Dead? <laughs> all right. So, all right. So, well, this looks like an item that I might let my dogs have. All right, so here we are. The first item that I grabbed is the little plush doll. It looks like Leatherface. Yes, Texas Chainsaw Massacre um, plushie. Loot Crate exclusive. So there you are. You have Leatherface and his little apron. That's actually pretty cool. I mean, it looks like a little dog toy. Don't get me wrong. But that's actually pretty cool. You know what I mean? I don't know. I may not give that to the dogs. I may just... Mm. I'm not a real big horror fan. Like, I'm just letting y'all know. Um... But, yeah, there's that. Oh, this is cool. Hold on, I'm a, this is cool. This is a Camp Crystal pendant from Friday the 13th. An actual, like, old school pendant. Pendant, pendant. I don't know why I'm saying that. That is pretty cool. The crystal, Crystal Lake. If y'all don't know, that's where Friday the 13th is is originally it takes place that is pretty cool and as you can see right here in small print it says Friday the 13th that is pretty cool alright next we have I'm gonna do that last next we have regrettable villains the legion of regrettable villains this is like one of those um, books that we got a while back that had like stupid I forgot what the other book was but this is actually pretty, looks pretty cool. Let's see here. Featuring the 50th strangest supervillains in the history of comics. So these are like probably the weirdest com comic book villains ever created. And I mean, it's actually like, oh, it actually shows what comic books and who they fought. I don't know if you can see that. Look at this. Oh. Uh, Black Cat, Cat Girl, that's it, oh uh, wait, what was that, what was that one, that one looked dumb, hold up, that one looked dumb, it was like half man, half dinosaur looking thing, there it is, what is that, the Doom Patrol, okay, but anyways, so there you are, regrettable super villains, um, 50 of the, what did it say? 50 of the strangest supervillains in history of comics. So there you are. It's actually toilet, a good toilet read. Next we have... I'm not going to take this out of the package. But we have... A Nightmare on Elm Street Freddy Glove Chopsticks. That right there is pretty cool. If you like Chinese food. Or use chopsticks. So it looks like his... It looks like he's got it doing like peace, and then his two fingers are the actual chopsticks. Ooh, got upside down. That's pretty cool. I don't know how to use chopsticks. I don't eat. I don't eat Chinese food. I don't eat sushi, whatever. So, um, I may have to give this to my sister-in-law or my brother-in-law. But that's pretty cool. All right, and last but not least, the T-shirt, which. I like the style of it. I just hate they put a picture of something on it. This is the Negan's 
Sluggers, The Walking Dead, AMC. This shirt would look cool. Would have looked a lot better if you would have just left this off and made this look like a like a baseball t-shirt. You know, put like some fake pin like buttons down the center, like an old school. Put some pinstripes on it or something. This right here is cool. This right here kind of just I don't know ruins the shirt for me a little bit. My wife is a huge Walking Dead fan, so I might let her wear this tonight. Might see if she'll want it. But for me, I. Uh, I mean, it's a nice shirt. I like the style, like I said. Just, I don't know. Yeah. All right, and then we have the pin. John Carpenter's Halloween, right there. Loop pin. And, of course, we have the magazine, the horror magazine right here. Let's see, what do we have? Oh, so here is, oh, there's a piece of string, and this is why. A piece of string actually goes to this. There is the mask. That is pretty sick. It's a walker mask. Alright, but we have the walker's mask. What else is in here? The Negan's... I hope I'm saying his name right. Negan Slugger t-shirt. And then we have Leatherface, Leatherface plushie. Oh, there's one that makes a sad face. That one would have been cool. That one looks a lot better than the happy face. That one would have been a lot cooler to have. Um, and then let's see, there's this loot crate. Alright. And then the Freddy chopsticks. And it gives you a recipe. I know you can't, right there. It gives you a recipe for Freddy's spaghetti and eyeballs. Right there. And then you have the Jason, wait, no. The exclusive Camp Crystal Lake pennant. Right there. Um, let's see. Nope. Just more advertisements. The book. Regrettable villains. Fifty of the strangest comic book villains. And I think that's it. Yeah, because the rest of it's just movie stuff and other stuff like that. And then the mega crate. Which, eh, not too bad. But, guys, that is it for the Horror Crate for October 2016. Oh, I dropped my box. On Loot Crate. Um, again, this was the mask that's in the box that you can take off and wear because it came with a piece of string. What? It, oh, here it is. It comes with a piece of string. After you pop it out, you can wear it. But here is the magazine. We'll go through the items one time real quick, and then we'll end this video. Here is your pin little Halloween pin right there. The t-shirt. Negan Sluggers. Right there. The Walking Dead. Premieres tonight. Well, I'm... Well, the night. Tonight. The day I'm recording this video. Alright. Then we have the... Freddy Cougar chopsticks. It's actually pretty... Those are some long-ass chopsticks. Let me just say that. Then we have the book Legions of... Regrettable Supervillains, 50 of the strangest comic book villains in the world. Right there. It's pretty cool. A good toilet read if you're into that. Then we have the Camp Crystal Lake pennant from Friday the 13th, which is actually pretty cool. Alright. And then, last but not least, we have Leatherface plushie. I got the happy face one. I'd rather have the sad face one. But this is what I got stuck with. But, guys, that is it for the Horror Crate, for Loot Crate. Um, I really never have, I don't have high hopes when they do Halloween ones, and they do it like that. It's just one of those things. Uh, again, I'm not a big horror movie fan, so it is what it is. Um, guys, again, thank you for watching. If you have any comments, any criticism, any suggestions on of this video, or any of my videos here on Loot Crate, I mean here on Solar Gaming, um, please feel free to leave a comment below, um, and thank you for watching. I will be back with more Loot Crate unboxings here in the near future. Next will be the um, Loot Gaming Crate, um, the Rumble theme here on Solar Gaming, hopefully here in about a couple more days. Um, so come back, check that out. Also, I'm doing a Mystery Pop Funko unboxing. Um, here in a couple of days. It's supposed to be here mm, tomorrow, so we may do that tomorrow. 
Um, all right, guys, again, thank you all for being here. I'm out.